Today, we're going to be talking about three different AI SEO case studies that are proven to rank. I'll show you screenshots and I'll show you Google Search Console proof right now. So here's an example of a new site built out. This is Oil Therapy Central, as you can see right here. Completely AI automated website. It's gone from two clicks a day all the way up to a peak of 38 clicks a day. It's now generating thousands of clicks. Brand new domain. I'll show you exactly how to build it in a minute. Here's another example. This website went from two clicks a day all the way up to a peak of 66 clicks a day, generating thousands of clicks again. And here's another example, zero clicks a day all the way up to 76 clicks a day. And that is growing over time. You can see again, it's generated thousands of clicks. Now I'm going to teach you exactly how to build the whole thing out for free using the Goldie SEO framework to turn your site into AI SEO gold. And I've already shown you the three Midas touch case studies, as you can see right here. Now from there, let's break down each stage of the process using the 24 carat process, right? So the first part of this process is to stake your claim, AKA find a relevant domain to your niche that you can start ranking with. Basically, we're going to launch a brand new domain. I usually use Cosmotown and there are no affiliate links inside the description of this video. I'm just teaching you how to do this for free. And you can even use ChatGPT for brainstorming, right? For example, if you have a service to sell, this will work. If you have an agency service, this will work. Info products, ads, affiliate, etc. It's all working over the same process. This can work for any site where you need traffic and you need customers from Google and SEO. Now, this works for any single niche from what I've seen so far. And essentially, but I would recommend that you avoid your money or your life topics just to keep it simple because you are generating the content with AI and you want to keep it ethical, right? And so what you're going to do is for example, let's say you have a SEO service. You can say, give me domain names for an SEO service inside chat GPT. And you can see it comes up with a bunch of ideas right here. So for example, rapid rank results.com. Let's see if we can buy that right here inside Cosmotown. If we can't find any, we can ask for top domains suggested by AI, as you can see, and we can see rapid rank results.com is available to buy for just $7.69, right? Really easy process to set up the website, launch a new domain. And again, all of these case studies that I'm showing you are built on new domains using Autoblogging AI, which I'll get into in a minute. From there, you would start mining for gold, right? And so basically you're gonna filter for keyword difficulty 10 or less, finding low competition, high volume keywords using Ahrefs Keyword Explorer. So what we can do, for example, let's say I'm in the SEO niche, I can type in SEO into Ahrefs. You can also automate this with a topical map. I've got plenty of videos on YouTube on exactly how to do that. Then we can filter down to keyword difficulty 10 or less. Now we have the keywords that we can create content around. Remove anything that's duplicate, remove anything that's cannibalized AK, where it's basically the same question. You only need to create one page for that. And then you've got a bunch of easy keywords that you can easily generate content around to start ranking your website. And that's exactly what we did for this website, this one, and this one. Why do we do that? Because number one, it's easy to rank for them. Number two, AI is very powerful for generating responses to questions. Even Google, as you can see right here with AI overviews, uses AI to answer questions. And it's a simple way to generate a bunch of content ideas. From there, you'd start crafting your gold mine, aka you're going to leverage tools like Autoblogging AI for content creation. You can use the quick mode, the quick bulk generate mode and generate 50 article drafts. What does that look like? So what you can do is you can go onto a tool like Autoblogging AI. I usually use the bulk generate mode, as you can see, but I will send the content into draft before I publish it. So we're not going to publish the content straight from Autoblogging. We're going to put it into draft in WordPress so we can quality control it later. Make sure the content is not spam and then publish it, right? So how do you do that? So you can take the relevant keywords from Ahrefs Keyword Explorer. So for example, let's just take a couple, like how to get SEO clients, which CMS is best for SEO, what is white label SEO. We could take those three keywords, we can plug them into auto blogging AI. You can auto post to WordPress, but again, make sure it's in draft, don't publish it live. You can select the tone of voice. I usually just go for medium length, I usually like to use automatic SERP analysis so I can reverse engineer my competitors and then create the content. And because it's a Q and A, you want to go for informative and then just match the tone of voice to whatever industry you're in. So I would usually go for first person and then writing style. If it's B2C, conversational. If it's B2B, professional. And from there, you can generate as much content as you want for the keywords, but you're not going to publish it yet. You're just going to create that content on your website 
in draft mode inside WordPress. You might say, why would we go for KD 10 or less keywords? Simply because they're easier to rank for. And especially if you've got a new domain, then you want to go for the easy stuff first because you don't have much authority and you don't have much trust from Google at first. You might also say, why would you go with 50 article drafts? Why not just publish one article at a time? The thing is when you launch, you want to have a lot of topical authority for the topic that you want to rank for, right? So for example, if you look at all three of these websites, they all ranked with 50 articles at least from day one. Why is that? It's because they're more top authority. Like for example, if you just have one article posted on your website and you're a brand new domain and you have no backlinks pointing to the site, it's going to be very hard to get SEO traffic because Google doesn't trust you and it has no reason to trust you, right? No backlinks, no top authority, no domain history. And so creating like 50 articles, proofreading them, editing them, making sure they're super high quality and then publishing is going to give you an advantage with top authority. From there, you would refine the gold, my friends, because it's just come out raw out the earth, AK, it's just come out of auto blogging, but it still needs a bit of chiseling down. So what I've actually done is created this SEO checklist, which gives you the perfect balance between leveraging AI, creating quality, and also nailing your SEO rankings, right? And I've got a video tutorial that guides you through it step by step. And inside this SEO checklist, you would start from this stage right here, right? So you've already created the outline using the SERP analysis. You've already targeted low competition keywords, but step by step, you want to make sure you match the search intent. You want to make sure you demonstrate EAT, format it nicely, add some pictures and videos if you can. Make sure the introduction is short and straight to the point. Include relevant external and internal links. Fact check it because AI hallucinates a lot, as we all know from ChatGPT. You can reduce the AI detection score as well. I've given you guidelines on how to do that. Basically, every single thing that you need to consider when it comes to ranking a website is inside this SEO checklist so that you've got something that's quite raw and you turn that AI content into something that's actually the best it can possibly be. And that is stage number four. So just to recap, we've covered creating the domain, finding the keywords, crafting the content, doing the SEO quality control. Now, when it comes to the keyword research as well, if you don't have access to Ahrefs, I know it's an expensive tool for some people, then you can use Answer the Public, which is a free tool for checking all the relevant keywords and questions someone would answer around the topic. So for example, if we put an SEO directly into here, we can type SEO, we can select United States, we can select languages English, hit search. And from there, we've got pretty much all the questions we need to answer when it comes to building top authority for free using this method right here. You can save the image, you could upload it to ChatGPT, you could download that image and actually just Ask ChatGPT to extract all the questions from the image. Easy stuff. Now, once you've refined your content, then you can publish it. You can submit it to Google Search Console from there. In this stage right here, because you're not getting much traffic, I wouldn't worry too much about design because that's not going to have an impact on your earnings or the money you make at that stage of the process, right? You would do that later. So for me, typically what we do is we create the content first and then we'll design later. If you're not getting any traffic, no point worrying about design because it's going to take up a lot of your time, your energy, your resources without bringing much of a return. Whereas if you focus on the other four stages, these are the highest leverage, highest impact tasks when you're building out a new website. So just to recap on the Goldilocks launch strategy, which is trying to get the balance between AI and leveraging it to save time, but also creating something of high quality. You can create the content using this process. Then you would draft it so you would organize your content into WordPress, for example, create a content calendar, ensure each article has a clear topic and keyword using the quality control process. And then from there, launch on day one for indexing with 50 high quality articles, all edited, submit the sitemap, index it, and you're good to go. Now at this stage of the process, right? The one thing that I want to say here is you're not creating spam, right? So with the strategies I'm showing you, I've talked about using quality control. I'm giving you a checklist to edit your content so it can be the best it can possibly be. Also in my free course, I have loads of videos on quality control. Check that out, links in the comments and description. And if you watch any of my videos recently, you see I talk about quality control. So this is not about spamming stuff. It's just about using the best of AI and the best of humans to create the best possible content for your website. Additionally, with the Golden Shield anti-spam guarantee, you can quality control your content. You combine the best of AI and human expertise, and that just makes sure that your content is good so that you can get results like this. Now, these are DR0 websites, right? So for example, if you look at a website like oiltherapycentral.com, you can see this is a domain rating zero website and no backlinks have been built to these sites. The reason for that 
is because we want to show you case studies where if you struggle with link building, you can still get your website ranked. And I've shown you three different examples of that today. However, if you do build backlinks, for example, look at juliangoldie.co.uk, you can see that this is a domain rating 48 website and its traffic is even higher than Oil Therapy Central's because we're combining AI plus backlinks, which leads to more authority and differentiates your website from everyone else's because 99% of websites struggle with link building. So when you combine AI content and the keyword strategies I've shown you with link building, you can get even bigger and better results. Now, when it comes to link building, let me explain exactly how that goes. And I'll give you a few free trainings at the end too. But basically you just want to do cold email to relevant sites, right? So create a personalized email template, mention specific content on the site and how you've done your research and then offer value, right? Additionally, you can just use tools like Ahrefs to find size ranking for relevant keywords. And the one thing I want to say here is that you're going for quality over quantity, right? You could build a ton of bad backlinks, but that's not going to help you rank this at all. So just go for natural relevant stuff and make sure that if you're getting a backlink is from a site you actually want to be associated with. What I would also say is that there's a bunch of fool's gold out there when it comes to link building and there's a bunch of spammy tactics, for example, like profile links on imdb.com or something like that, which you want to steer well clear of, right? So comment spam, profile links, forum signature links, absolute waste of time. I'll include a link to my free link building mastery book that shows you exactly what backlinks are, how they work, etc. You can get a free copy of that. Additionally, if you want to go really granular into checking the quality of your backlinks, you can use this 42 point SEO link building checklist that my agency actually uses as well. Step by step, this shows you exactly how to filter links. But if you just want the 80 20 of it, just focus on natural relevant links from websites that you want to be associated with. The final thing that I would say, and this is the price of public gold, which is these case studies probably will get targeted. I can imagine that there's a 99% chance these websites will get de indexed for being public case studies. Okay. But that is a sign of a good test. And despite the risks, I still want to show you this stuff to inspire you, to help you, to show you that SEO works better than ever if you have the right strategy and also to motivate you. Thanks so much for watching. What I'm actually going to do is I will take this SAP right here, which includes links to all the case studies who have mentioned. For example, you can see the examples of each of these websites right here. I've shown you Google Search Console proof that these AI SEO case studies actually rank and work nicely. I've shown you how to create the content, how to do the keyword research, how to set up the domain. One final thing I would say is usually when it comes to hosting, if I've got multiple sites, I'm going to use something like easy blog networks for hosting simply because it hides the footprint across multiple sites so that it doesn't look unnatural when I have multiple sites on the same hosting and IP addresses. I've shown you how to automate the domain research and also the keyword research from chat GPT. For example, you can ask it for domain names. And additionally, you can upload an image from Ask in the Public and then upload that to ChatGPT, extract the questions from there. You can create the content really easily and quickly using this process. So what I'm going to do is I will take the link from today and bear in mind, like most marketers out in the SEO space are not showing you public case studies, not showing you public URLs and definitely wouldn't show you three different AI SEO case studies. So I'm doing this just to help you. And if we go into my free SEO course links in the comments and description, I will add a new section called the Goldie SEO framework. As you can see right here, the module is called free AI SEO case studies. And if you want to get free access to all the notes and the blueprint from today, maybe you want to give that to your team for training. Maybe you want to implement it. Maybe you want to hire someone to do it for you. Then I've given you the SAP in the video notes right there. Bear in mind, this SEO course comes with like a hundred lessons as well. So thanks so much for watching. That is available in the free course link in the comments and description. If you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session where we can show you exactly how to get more leads, traffic and sales from SEO based on how we take websites from zero to 145,000 clicks per month, feel free to book that in links in the comments and description. And on that call, you get a free SEO domination plan, discover the secrets of link building, we'll answer any questions you have. You'll learn the best link building strategies for your website and you'll learn to outrank your competitors with link building. Feel free to put that in. Links in the comments and description. Appreciate you watching. Bye.